Welcome to a presentation on Paltoon, what I like to refer to as PowerPoint on steroids. My name is Angie Starrett, and I'll be showing you a few of the tricks and possibilities with Paltoon and why you'll probably never ever go back to PowerPoint. So here we are in a blank Paltoon demo, and I'm going to show you how I created the first two slides of the example I posted. All right. Over at the top here, we have all of our standard editing features, cut, copy, paste, insert an external or internal sound or voiceover, upload an external image, add text, and vary the font and color of that text. Most of your time will be spent over here with the right sidebar, where you can adjust your styles, your text effects, image holders, characters, animated characters, props, markers, shapes, and backgrounds. So let's get started. Cartoon man here and add a nice little educational background there with scissors and pencil. All right, and let me try to sell you on trying Paltoon. All right, so I have how about trying, and I'm going to add the Paltoon logo. So I click here in my image manager, and I can upload any file from my computer. All right, so I can just go to my images folder, and I can upload anything I have in here. As you can see, I've already uploaded the Paltoon logo. And so I'm going to squeeze that in here. Maybe make it just a hair smaller to fit in with the text. Uh, again, we can have a hand bring it in if we want. And I want to add a question mark. So, and I can always rotate this if I want. Give it a little twist. So how about trying Paltoon, all right? And I think we should add some students. So we can add a happy boy and a happy girl. All right, they're pretty excited about Paltoon. And we'll go back up here and add a little bit more text. All right, your students will love it. That's for sure. Okay, so now you'll notice that we have everything kind of overlapping, appearing for about 10 seconds. Well, now I'm going to up the time in my screen. And I'm going to make sure that everything goes away after 10 seconds. So I'm back to a blank screen now around 10 and a half seconds. Okay. And I can stay on this exact screen. And now I can add. I can show you that there are indeed very cool ways to animate text. So here, under more on text effects, I can actually roll letters in. And we can change the font. We can change, of course, okay, I might give it just, there we go. Okay, so there you can see I adjusted when the text actually started rolling in so it didn't overlap with the handwriting tool. There. All right, so here's our, our boy who's going to be typing. It will give him a laptop to actually type with.
Okay, so we've got him with his laptop sitting in his chair. And these are just a few of the amazing things you can do with Paltoon. And I'm going to show you here. So we can add all kinds of different animated props. So we have tons of props. Let's give him a little thought bubble. And animated characters, as we can see with this boy. We'll stick that up here in our cloud, go back to our cloud. Make sure all of our letters are there, and there we go. All right, now let's step back through the animation very quickly and just make sure that everything is timed right. So we have there our case, okay, so we have the text, the chair appears, the boy, his laptop, the arrow. Right, so that starts at 17. Let's actually move that back a little bit. All right, let's see if that worked. Adjusting the sequence of the animation, and that seems to work perfect. Okay, and so that shows you how I've created the first two slides. And let's step through it. If we, if we click this button right here, the circle with the arrow pointing up. It's going to play all our slides from the beginning. 